Hey people, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make like modular bleep bloop sounds. I don't know how to describe them, um, but um, they sound very sci-fi-ish and uh, quite, they're quite cool and can be used as texture or atmospheres or whatever you want to use them for in, in your tracks. Um, I discovered this sound by accident actually. Um, so if I'm, I apologize in beforehand, if I seem a little bit, I don't know, like, like it seems like I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but I'm going to try and, and explain the process as good as I can for you. So you can guys can follow along. Um, and the synth I'm going to use is pigments, uh, actually pigments with, with the new update. Um, because with the new update, we get we got a new um, additive engine, like called the harmonic engine. So we're gonna start by cutting the highs and lows of the spectrum, and dial up the depth, and then we're going to uh, choose notch over here, and um, we're gonna depending on what you choose here. Uh, you can morph between these different spectral, uh, I don't know what to call it, like spectral, spectral morphing. Um, so you're 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 essentially affecting the signal over here. Um, so if we, if we go completely dry, we got a saw wave, right? Just like in any other synth, just that it's additive. So you're playing with the partials. Um, so if we turn up the depth over here and we low cut and high cut it, we got this. And then we can shift around. Let's turn off the filter. However, these modular bleep bloop sounds, um, I think most of them, like the ones that I'm thinking of, are actually made out of square waves. And since this isn't a subtractive or weight table synth, we need to like alter the, the actual partials inside the spectrum in order to get a square wave. And in order to do that, we need to take away all the even ones and only leave the odd ones. That will produce a square wave or a pulse wave. Um, so again, I'm just gonna turn this off. Got a saw wave, and not exactly sure what this is. It doesn't sound like a sine wave to me, but um, I suppose it's some kind of um, saw wave-ish. I don't know. Never mind. Let's leave it at odd, uh, odd harmonics, and dial this up. So we now got this. And just as we have like in the other engines, like if you go to a ordinary like wavetable engine and such, we can uh, FM the, the uh, oscillators. Um, but since we're not, <coughs> and, and we're not actually having like wavetable oscillators here, so I don't know exactly how this works. So I'm gonna, <laughs> gotta read up uh, upon that. But as far as I know, we can get like the same type of FM effect. So if we head over to the square wave right over here, and on this dial, we can turn it up to start like FMing the spectral content. I don't know how to explain it, but. So. So now we're basically FMing a square with another square wave. So that that's pretty cool. Um, so let's just leave this in the middle. And if we turn down the modulator. Back up a little bit. I think you guys can figure out where we're going with this now. What happens if we turn it up? Can we get something cool out of it? 
this is too high up. This is too low. I think we're quite about right here, actually. And then we have the tilt knob. The tilt knob, what it does is actually that it it, it basically affects the whole spectrum. So if I'm just if I just uh, turn this off for a bit. can tilt it. So the high partials up here in the frequency spectrum, they get more emphasized. Um, and since our sound, all we have is this, we want more of those highs a little bit so we can hear them. But just be careful and don't crank it up too much. Just be kind of gentle with it because you don't want to hurt your ears doing it. Um, and then we have the ratio over here. I'm not really sure what that does either. Um, effect sounds like it's some kind of pitch. I don't know. Yes, now we're having like this futuristic modular, I don't know, alien spaceship interface sound. Some Richard Divine shit right there. <laughs> um, if you don't know who he is, check him out. Um, he's re he's a really good sound designer. Um, anyway, so what do we actually modulate here? We know for a fact that moving this gives us these data processing sounds or whatever you want to call it what happens if you turn off turn on smooth also kind of cool but i'm gonna leave it off um so how do we go about this maybe we take a random and let's go for the Turing oscillator, actually, because the Turing oscillator is a little bit more controlled than sample and hold. Um, you can actually lock the sequence it's playing right over here, okay? So it's, since it's random one over here, you press this random and then go to the section. And it's bipolar modulation only on this modulator, so... I just want the sound to, you know, appear sometimes. Like something like this, maybe. And, um, I'm just going to try this again. Nope. That'll be fine. And we can turn up the partials to, like, raise the fidelity of the sound. So it becomes a little bit more clear. And I changed my mind. I want to have smooth on, actually. So, like, this is the source sound we have right now. And it's really cool on its own. And now it's really up to you uh, what you want to do with it. Um, I want to try... Like, you can use external effects if you have your favorite delay plugins or, I don't know, multi-effect stuff. Um, you could use it as is, as some kind of texture in your track. But um, I actually played around with the pitch shift delay over here. Which is kind of cool, because you can make it pitch shift inside of the delay chain.
So basically, almost becomes granular. To basically turn it 100% wet. And then we have the reverb. And then I'm gonna move the reverb over here and I'm gonna send it into a tape tape pick over here. Sorry for Discord being on in the background. <clears throat> so yeah, that's basically our sound. Um, more stuff we could do. Let's try Echo Bode, for example. So, like I said before, if you get sick of this specific sequence, you can dial up the flip to 50%. It's going to change the sequence. You can also alter the length of the sequence. Let me try with the partials, lower the quality. Comes a little bit less intense. But I personally like when it's bright, so. So yeah, that's what I wanted to show you guys today. So um, thanks for watching. Have a good one.